Hey, Vlad here, devinsidey.com. Welcome to another video. Somewhere in the middle of this playlist, we learned about object orientation, a prominent programming style built upon the environment model of computation. After a few videos about this, we learned about objects versus data structures, and we dedicated a few videos to what I like to call the data-oriented programming style, where we learned about pattern matching and partial functions. Then, after yet another few videos, we switched back to OO and played with traits and packages, and we've even seen how traits can be used instead of packages. So we started with simple constructs like vals, devs, vars, and lazy vals, then we continued with objects, classes, and traits, then we continued with packages, and I even considered raising the bar and talking about jars and the relatively new module system which came with jar 9. However, firstly, the module system is not quite ready for Scala yet, and secondly, after having considered showing it to you in Java, I realized that the timing wasn't quite right. This entire playlist is called Scala, your first programming language, in which I'm trying to teach programming, software development, and the fundamentals of computer science to absolute beginners. So topics like the module system are slightly out of scope and shouldn't be in the focus. I wasn't quite sure which topic to discuss next, and after almost a week of brainstorming, I came up with a plan. And the first step of the plan is to tell you about the plan, which is what this video is for. So roll the intro. <music> First things first, we already have covered a lot of ground. Seriously, by now it's about 30 videos or so, so if you watched all of them and maybe even coded along them, I would argue that you shouldn't call yourself a beginner anymore. Don't get me wrong, there's still an ocean of knowledge for us to learn, and yes, you heard me right, I said us, me included. Even though I have more than 10 years of experience in our field, you never really stop learning. The material discussed so far is applicable to most languages with slightly different syntax. Some things will be syntactically easier in some languages and some things will be syntactically harder in others, but generally speaking, it's all the same. In any case, we're almost done with the beginner stuff, so the topics from now on can be considered rather advanced, and also the more we progress with the playlist, the more will the focus lean towards the Scala particulars. So what's next? Well, we have some very interesting topics ahead. For instance, we have higher kind of types, also known as generics, which is a way to convince the compiler that some types are related to each other. It's sort of like subtype polymorphism, but it's actually sort of like diametrically opposed to it. And in contrast to subtype polymorphism, which happens at runtime, higher kind of types in generic or generics, they happen at the compile time. Another topic is implicits, which is a way for the compiler to glue seemingly unrelated pieces of code together based on type equality. Lastly, we have to take a very, and I mean very deep look at collections. Collections is a kind of library commonly present in most languages. Seriously, I can't imagine programming in a language with the, which doesn't come with its own standard collection library. A collections library is a collection, no pun intended, of data structures which are highly navigational. Each data structure has its own performance characteristics, its own properties, and constraints which are hopefully enforced by the compiler. Think of these data structures as bags for data. You can put some data in, you can take some data out, you can maybe apply one function to all the elements so you can walk through the entire collection, maybe you can transform the collection into yet another collection, and so on. Some of them have an order, some of them have no duplicates, some of them can search really fastly, some of them can retrieve an element very fastly by knowing its position, and some of them can't do any of those, but they can insert elements very, very fastly. The collections part of the standard library has been rewritten a few years ago, and in fact, it has been rewritten yet again as of right now when I'm recording this. Now, I'm buffering my videos a little bit, so by the time it comes out, the library might be out. It should come out as part of a Scala 2.13, so if Scala 2.13 is out, then this new rewrite of the collections library is out as well. So I was having a hard time deciding whether I should cover the current collections library or the one that is about to come out, and I decided to start the exploration with neither of them. Instead, we're going to create our own tiny collections library. Yep, shit just got real. The goal is not going to be to replace the existing one. This would be really silly. There are a lot of really smart people working on it full time, so there's hardly any reason to compete with that. However, I do believe that this exercise is very valuable for educational purposes. Usually performance is one of the primary concerns when designing a collections library, but for educational purposes we can pretty much completely ignore it, even though we will constantly bump into conversations about this. By the way, the fact that the standard library is changing is not the reason why I'm not covering it, and also it's not the reason why we're writing our own. We're writing our own because it's a perfect and honestly a very typical path to get into higher kind of types and also implicits. 
I haven't yet decided what to do with the numbering of the videos. I might leave the videos in this playlist or I might create a new one. We'll see. Also, I haven't actually created this library that I'm speaking about yet and just have to record the videos. We will do this together. I barely started and that's about it. So it might be a rough ride, but I'm sure we'll get there. I already got sets, so we might start there. Uh, we definitely need um, maps, stacks and queues with honorable mentions of uh, vectors and probably lists. And we definitely need streams. I will try to get the streams as fast as possible, so stay tuned. Okay, and please don't forget that this playlist is still targeted for absolute beginners, so I'm also considering covering fundamentals of logic and set theory, so cue the excitement. All right, it's been Vlad, devinsideyou.com. Like this video if you did, subscribe if you want to improve the developer inside you, and most importantly, take care.